This is Devin Croswell with Sherpa Design, and I'm going to take a quick look at the copy feature command. This command will allow me to copy any feature and then click on new parent for the feature to place it somewhere else. The two features aren't going to be connected to each other in a parent-child relationship, so I can edit the new copy. So I've designed a situation here where I have a spline path and a sketch that is on this path. If you take a look at reattach. I'm on the path of this spline and I want to sweep this profile, this sketch section, along this path. And I can use a tool called Swept to do that. There's a lot of other tools I could use Sweep Along we have some other sweeping tools available, but I'm going to use Swept for this. And I'm just going to take this first section along this guide and create that solid geometry. But let's say I want to have this section vary a little bit along the path as it sweeps. One way I can control that is to have additional sections and Swept as a feature allows me to do that. And so I can copy this profile and then create new swept features. So I'm going to hide that original swept that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and copy this feature. Now it is as simple as right clicking on the feature itself and going copy. You also see I can select it and from my keyboard click on control C and in the background I can click on paste. This will bring up the copy feature dialog along with an original features window so I can get a glimpse at what were the original features I selected to place that command, that feature that I'm now copying. So it's asking me to specify new parents. So we're looking at point on a path, so along this path or along a different path that I may have created, and then a path to use. So the path is going to stay the same. I'm going to use the same path for this copied sketch. But the point along the path is where I'm going to make a new selection. As I go to select any point along this path, I don't have that snap on, so I'm going to have to turn that selection on, point on curve. This allows me to pick any point along this curve. I'm going to go ahead and select right there. With both of these satisfied, I can click OK to create a copied sketch feature. As I mentioned, they are not related to each other. They don't have a parent-child relationship. I can go into the original feature, make it a little bit bigger, Click finish. I can go into the copied feature and edit that one as well. Make this one a little smaller. And then I can use swept to create that swept design that I'm looking for. And then if I go up here, I can add that additional section. I can see it. Let's turn the preview off. Grab that. Turn the preview back on. Let's take that. That's my section. Oh, okay, now I'm adding multiple sections. Don't want to do that. I want to add an additional section here. So I'm going to turn my preview off again to add that section section. You can see it's all twisted. Each one of these sections has its own direction and origin point. I'm going to flip that around to try and straighten it out. Looks a little bit better if I had to specify origins 
for this, I can select the section I want to change the origin for and then use Specify Origin Curve to select a new starting point for my direction. And if that looks good enough, I can click OK there. And maybe I want to edit this so that it goes all the way to the end of the uh, path that I'm using. So we'll go ahead and reattach that sketch and pull that all the way to the end. And I have the feature where I'm controlling both the start and the end via my copying feature command.